Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette and I make videos sharing my experiences as a New Zealander living in Germany. Recently, I have been really pushing myself outside my comfort zone in regards to speaking German. I made a couple of videos recently where I tried to pronounce really difficult German words. I also made a video where I spoke German for the whole video. It was a questions and answers video. Uh, so, ich glaube, es ist endlich Zeit, ein weiteres Video auf Deutsch zu machen. Jetzt beantworte ich deine Fragen von Instagram. I can honestly say I'm at the point where I can speak German at a conversational level. I can get by okay in German, but there are still things that I struggle with so much when it comes to speaking German. I struggle with grammar and I struggle with pronunciation. So I have decided today that I'm going to be putting myself out there on YouTube, maybe even embarrassing myself, but I want to improve my German pronunciation. I have a lot of German viewers and subscribers and I have to say I love my German subscribers. I love all of my subscribers, but my German subscribers are just amazing. You guys have been so lovely and so encouraging over the time I have been learning German and speaking German on my YouTube channel. I have just received so much wonderful positive feedback. I know for a fact that my German is nowhere near perfect but you guys make me want to improve my German because you are just so lovely and encouraging. I have got a list of German words here that I very much struggle with and when I made this video of me trying to pronounce German words that are apparently very hard for non-native speakers to pronounce, a lot of you gave me some really great constructive feedback and I asked for the feedback. So a lot of you said to me that one of the German sounds that I need to really work on to sound more German is the U with the dots. This is a very very hard sound to make for non-native German speakers, especially native English speakers. Okay guys, so I'm going to use Google to help me pronounce some of these words and I know some of you have said that Google makes mistakes with pronunciation but I think like 99% of the time Google pronounces things right. So the first word actually means kiss in English. So this is how they pronounce it in German. Kissen. Kissen. See, I can even hear myself that I'm saying that wrong, but there's just nothing I can do to change it. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Kissen. 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 I just don't know if that sounded right. So this is how most native English speakers would pronounce this word. Kissen. Kissen. This is how, like, literally you would say it in English. But in German, you're not meant to say it like that. You're meant to say it... Kissen. 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 It's just, I'm not getting it right. Kissen. 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 See, the problem is I can hear where I am going wrong, but I can't do anything to change it. It's kind of like I'm not capable of pronouncing this like a German. So if any of you have got any tips for how I pronounce the U with the dots, please, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay guys, so the next German word is another word that I struggle with so much. And this word is very important for me to know because this is the area of Germany where I live. I live right outside the city. And this is... Würzburg. Würzburg. How did that sound? I think that sounded a lot better than how I normally pronounce it. Hold on. Würzburg. Würzburg. I feel like the Berg, like in English we would say Berg, but in German you say it more like Book. Würzburg. Würzburg. I don't think that sounded too bad, but I don't know. Because normally I would pronounce it more like, this is how you would pronounce it in English. Würzburg. Würzburg. I feel like I normally pronounce it a mix between the English way. Würzburg. Würzburg. <laughs> And the German way, which is... Würzburg. Würzburg. I usually pronounce it like Würzburg. And I really want to sound more German when I say it. So, um, I'm going to try it again. Würzburg. 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 I feel like that sounded good. I have no idea if it actually did. Okay, so the next word is what you'd use for greeting in German. And this word is... Begrüßung. 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 I don't know. I need to listen to it again. Begrüßung. 
Begrüßung. So this is how it would sound if it was like literally pronounced in English. Begrüßung. Begrüßung. <laughs> and in German it's totally different to that. Begrüßung. Begrüßung. See, the U with the dots, this is where I go wrong. This is where I always go wrong. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, there has to be some kind of technique that makes me say the U with the dots instead of like the regular U. Because I feel like I pronounce all of these words using the regular English U. And I know it's different. I know that it's different, but I just, my brain can't work out how it's different. Begrüßung. Begrüßung. I think that was a little bit better. Okay guys, so moving on to another German sound that us native English speakers struggle to pronounce so much. I feel like this is just a dead giveaway for native English speakers. You can tell straight away that they are not German when they pronounce this sound and it is... Ich. I'm gonna try and pronounce that. Ich. Ich. I think I'm doing the ich too much. I think I'm trying too hard with the ich part. This is how Google Translator pronounces it in English. Ick. Ick. And I really feel like sometimes when I hear myself speaking German, just I've recorded myself, it sounds like I'm saying ick instead of ich. Ich. And I'm trying so hard to say it right, but it comes out as ick. Oh, guys, I need to work on this. Ich. 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 There's just something subtle that I'm not doing right and I can't put my finger on it. Ich. Ich. No, that was terrible. Ich. I don't think that was too bad. Maybe I was just a little bit too full on with the ich part. Ich. 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 Okay, so another German word with this really hard sound. This actually means equal or the same in English, and that word is. Gleich. 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 I don't think that sounded too bad. I want to give it another go. Gleich. 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 I love the way this sounds in German. I think that sounds so nice and so smooth. I really want to get this word right. Gleich. Gleich. I feel like that sounded not too bad. Okay guys, so the next German word also has this really difficult sound. Whenever I say this word, my husband Rob, who is a native German speaker, he always corrects me and I have to say it like five times before I can get it right or like almost right. This word is the country Austria and in German you would pronounce it Österreich. 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 How did that sound? I'm gonna try it again because I don't think that was quite right. Österreich. 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 I don't think that was too bad. See, I can't hear where I'm going wrong. For me, that sounded the same as how Google pronounced it. Okay, so the next word with this really hard German sound, it actually means different in English, and this is... Unterschiedlich. 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 There's something I'm doing wrong at the end. It's, it's very subtle, I know, but I need to like adjust some part of my vocal cords to sound more German. Um, let me try again. Unterschiedlich. Unterschiedlich. The ich, ich. I, I sound more like it's, I usually say like ich, but it's more like Ich. Ich. I think I need to like maybe widen my mouth a little bit. I could be totally wrong, but I'm almost kind of working out what I'm doing wrong. So I'm going to try and say this again. Unterschiedlich. 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 Okay guys, so the last German word I have on my list for today is a word that I actually hear all the time because Germans always tell me that my children are very... Niedlich. Needlich, and this means cute or like cute or sweet or just like endearing and so I struggle to pronounce this so whenever I say it I'm always like oh that sounded so wrong I'm going to use this opportunity to practice Needlich 
niedlich, 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 niedlich. I don't think that was too bad. Hold on, let me say it again. Niedlich, niedlich. No, I was niedlich, 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 niedlich. Neatly. Do you know what? I feel like this is such good practice just listening over and over again to these words and I, I feel like in a funny way it's almost like training my brain a little bit. Let me try again. Neatly. Neatly. I can almost hear this kind of like, it's like a pulling. It's almost like when Germans say this word their cheeks are being sort of pulled backwards like neatly. You don't close your mouth, like needlich. It could be completely, completely wrong, but I'm just, I'm trying to listen really closely and I, I don't know. Needlich. Needlich. So that was the best I could do. Like, I don't feel like I can do any better than that. So please let me know how you think that I went. And honestly, I am very open for constructive feedback. Like, I think there is a difference between like criticism, like harsh criticism and constructive feedback. I want to get better. I want to improve my German pronunciation. So if you are German and you are watching this, feel free to share with me any tips and tricks and tell me what you think I might be doing wrong or if you think I sounded okay like please let me know so that's all I've got for this video if you enjoyed it then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up I would love you to subscribe to my channel I know that around 80% of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed so if you would consider subscribing that would mean the world to me feel free to follow me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon bye